wondering what the current coffee formula is it is well today it's decaf coffee uh because that is all we have so i'm tricking my brain into thinking that it's had coffee wish me luck uh i've got almond milk I put a couple of scoops of green and blacks uh organic hot chocolate powder into there and then i also have my birthday present from victoria and alex which is very much loved uh this is the caramel morning morning I don't know how you say that. The caramel syrup by this brand, it's so nice. It's just like a lot more subtle and a lot less overpowering than the other syrups I was having. So I'm gonna go back to this one like I really like it. But that is how I make my little morning mocha. Good morning, everybody. Today it is Tuesday. I can't get over how, I need to go back to fake tanning. I just watched an old vlog and I, <laughs> I did not look this pale. So, uh, I will be getting back to fake tanning immediately. Especially now my hair is dark. I just think I look like a character out of a horror film when I have no makeup on. And I, I don't love that for me. Oh my god, this cleanser smells amazing. I'm trying a new one from Beauty Pie. Plantastic. It smells so good. It's like, I think it's got apricot butter in it. Oh my God, it smells incredible. I am starting the vlog slightly later this morning because I've just been having, you know, a real good overthinking session. There's nothing that stops me getting on with my day quite like that. I need to put some makeup on because we are going for a little date night tonight. So I thought I'll put my makeup on early anyway. Um, and then I can film some TikToks, you know during the day make the most of having a face full of makeup on and then i started thinking about how much i just want to spend all my time vlogging and not making tiktoks and how i miss two vlogs a week and how much i <laughs> how much i hate the fact that social media is like so extreme now like really you only get views when you're being like extra dumb or controversial or extra spendy and i just love how chill youtubers and non clickbaity and so that's been my overthinking little spiral this morning it's just um how much i love this space and want to spend more time here because short form content is such a weird space to kind of be creating in and as someone that's been making long form content for over a decade and just i love like vlogs and just watching people kind of do their thing it just makes me so sad and you can see in the comments of like lots of these short form videos that like go viral people are like oh all everyone all these influencers just clickbait now and blah 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 and it's like there are so many creators out there that aren't making like crazy clickbaity content they just make lovely really really chill content i'm, really, I'm not even talking about me and they don't get any recognition for it and they don't grow and that's so sad so that's been my like mental spiral this morning is how much i just miss uh being able to post photos of my lunch on social media and have that be done with but um that's because i am now ancient in the world of social media there's probably so many people that disagree with me and they're like okay grandma off you pop anyway i don't know why i told you that but just in case you ever wonder what i mean when i say i'm really overthinking things or i'm just having a little bit of a spiral it's normally something like this i have just put on some of the saint tropez self tan luxe tonic tan drops I haven't used these since like last year I just really got out of the habit of it i feel like i look glowier and better already so i think that's going to have to come back into my routine um, and I'm just waiting for it to dry, but I'm gonna follow it up with the Clay de Peau, the serum, and then the creme, because I just feel like I need a little bit of TLC at the moment. And then I think I'm gonna try this from Beauty Pie. This is the Featherlight UVA UVB SPF 50. I have heard really good things about this. I actually got a whole Beauty Pie order yesterday. So whilst we wait for my Saint-Tropez tan drops to develop, 
we can flash back and I will show you the kind of unboxing of that. There is a candle that you need to know of. Like, it is incredible. I was burning it last night. Best candle I have ever owned. So, yeah, flashback. Bless Ryan. He was like, Has, is there food? Has, <laughs> have we been sent food? And I was like, um, no, sorry, babes. Oh my God, there's so much. Ah! So, if you aren't familiar with Beauty Pie, it's kind of like luxury grade products but at affordable pricing and i am so so intrigued to see how all of these products wear they have a tubing mascara you guys will know if you've watched the video for more than like five seconds i love a tubing mascara the glossier one is my favorite so i'm really excited to see how that fares quick color contour super gel so like a liquid contour so excited to try this out we're gonna try all of these bits tomorrow oh my god is this <gasps> i think this is a candle oh my god i need to smell this hot chocolate and peppermint in a candle oh my god it's like an arrow <gasps> I can't eat this, but how great is it to smell it? Oh, that is literally me. I need to get that like on a hoodie. That is unreal. I have never, oh, this is gonna get fingerprinty as hell, but I have never known a hot chocolate and peppermint candle. They need to make this in a diffuser fast. I would buy, I would buy the entire stock. I would buy a lifetime supply. I can't stop smelling it. Thank you so much to Beauty Pie for sending me this. This is the greatest gift I have ever been given. I need you to smell this. <laughs> Are you enjoying your hot water bottle? Yes. It's a bit cold, isn't it? I work from home outfit. <laughs> Put the glasses on as well. It like tops it off. Earlier he came in and he was wearing hood up. Yeah. I was like, this is like peak I work from home attire. <laughs> 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 I need you to smell this. I feel like I know that smell. Oh, chocolate and peppermint. Oh, thanks. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, again, well, I, will, I will fight you for this. Anyway, I got distracted. I'm very excited to try all of this out. I'm going to put these two in particular in the bathroom because I'm going to start using this one ASAP. I will use this one tonight and then I'm going to test this one tomorrow morning and then I'll test the rest tomorrow when I do my makeup. I'm really excited because I've got um, a couple of the SPFs. Very, very intrigued to try those out. I've heard good things. So yeah, I'm going to have a little beauty pie test over the next couple of days. So very excited to try out some new bits from Beauty Pie. I'm gonna try a lot of them quite slowly, I think. Um, I'm not gonna try them all today because if something breaks me out, I need to know what it was. Um, and if I've tried like a million things at once, then I won't know. At least if I only try a couple of things, I can kind of narrow it down. But yeah, the candle is a firm favorite. Not that I think that's meant to be the point of Beauty Pie at all. I'm not sure their main aim is to sell candles, but it's incredible. I could not recommend it highly enough. Just going in with the Clé de Peau cream, which just is the most like luxurious cream. If you are looking to get like someone something really special as a gift, the Clé de Peau, the cream, creme, whatever you want to call it, is just incredible. Oh, it just, it feels like so nourishing on the skin. It's actually unreal. So I always use it when I feel like a little bit not great and I really want to like treat myself, perk myself up a little bit, that kind of thing. But it also does just leave the skin looking unreal. I need to brush my hair, it looks so scraggly. Oh, I got my new Loewe top in the size small and it fits really, really well. It fits a lot better around the arms now, which is great. Okay, so apparently this is like a sunscreen and a primer. So interested to see if it will compete with my beloved La Roche-Posay uh, SPF because that one is so good. This one is a lot less liquidy. So I'm just going in with the YSL New Skin Bare Look Tint in shade four. I love this stuff. It's just so nice and glowy. Um, and whilst I'm doing this, I thought I would take a moment following my mini rant on the state of social media. Um, I thought I would take a moment to recommend some creators that I love and I feel uh if you are one of those people that just is a bit at odds with social media and you just want some like super chill people 
to follow i have rex so obviously this doesn't include my like friendship group because i feel like you guys all know my friendship group like alana josie victoria amelia they're all great like alana's vlogs actually are like my all-time faves to watch because they're just so natural and chill i think maybe for me very relatable as well but josie is also like the most chill human being and i just adore watching her if you want like a really chilled out vibe and there's also essay who i love watching as well again for a very like chilled out vibe but you i feel like you know all of these people like i love watching emma chamberlain again everyone like i don't know if there are people alive that don't know who emma chamberlain is at this point i have to give some shout outs to nori I love Nori's vlogs. They're just, again, so chill, so nice to watch. Just feels like you're hanging out with friends. I do sometimes think there is something really special about watching people who are newer to vlogging because they don't have the fear yet. And it's a really beautiful thing to just watch someone talk naturally without being scared that someone is going to pick up what they have said. And that is definitely something that so many um, YouTubers or influencers that have been doing this for years have and I do think it makes you slightly less natural on camera but anyway I love her vlogs they're just so nice and chill and everything is just so aesthetic with her which I love as well and then again in terms of chill and aesthetic Toby from Toby's home I adore him I want to be his best friend he's just such a gem so I love his oh I've got hair on the face oh no how does this happen every day he's just such a gem so I love his channel so much. Tamsin, who is a TikToker who I love. She is so funny, so dry. Like her content is really, like just really clever. And she did a lot of satire in the beginning of TikTok and now kind of flits between the two, but she started a YouTube channel and she's just great. She's so great. And if you're looking for like really nice chill vlogs, would highly, highly recommend going and checking out her channel. Her and Princess Rhubarb, her dog, are just my favourites online. I love them so much. So those are my three that like you might not know about but I just adore. I'm trying to see if I have missed anyone else that you might not know about. Yeah, I feel like you know, I feel like you know everybody else. But yeah, if you are one of those people that does feel quite frustrated with the way social media works and that you can't find just like nice chill people to watch, I would definitely recommend checking them out i'm gonna try this uh from my beauty pie delivery uh this basically looks like a dupe for the charlotte tilbury contour one very very similar Ooh, okay this is dark this is gonna be interesting i really hope this blends out but yeah i've heard such good things about them for years but never tried the products so i'm really excited to finally be trying them out okay this blends out very quickly and very nicely i am impressed it's definitely a little bit dark for me but actually if i just used less this would be perfect it's got a really nice undertone to it as well for contour i wouldn't say this is a bronzing product but maybe they do different shades and you could get one that's more bronzy but for me this is definitely coming across as a contour product it's so nice it blends out so easily i think i may have maybe potentially definitely put too much on my nose though i'm going to have a very well contoured nose today this is great i feel like i could definitely have used less but for a first try i'm not mad not at all we'll definitely be using that again these merit sticks are so fun like the temptation to just draw shapes all over my face every time i use it is it's a lot i also am really intrigued to try this this is a tubing mascara and I need to know, like the Glossier one that I love is Achieving Mascara, so I need to know if they're similar. However, already the wand is very different, so we could get a completely different result. Also, I want to see if it's as good as the Merit Mascara, because I'm still so obsessed with that mascara. It's giving a very different kind of lash to the type that I would normally go for, but I still really like it. I think as this becomes like an older mascara and isn't so producty, this could be amazing. It's always so hard to tell when you first try a mascara. Any mascara that can make my bad eye look good is a good one in my book. I have decided we are going for a smoky eye again. Just a subtle one, a really nice like gentle everyday smoky eye i did this the other day and i loved it and i will now not be doing my makeup like a tiktok girly anymore because uh i just don't suit that makeup as much as i suit like 
a smoky eye. Love me a smoky eye. I love how I said I wasn't going to try everything all at once and I am now just putting on the majority of the things that Beauty Pie sent me. So this is the Super Cheek Cream Blush in Bare Blush. This is a very nice shade. It's like one of those kind of movie toned pinks. Velvety Matte Lip Crayons. I think these might be a bit too dark for me, but we'll see. I take it back. Oh my God, this is cute. A little bit dark, no, I was right. But I think if I lightened up the center, this is really nice. It's nice how it is now, but I just think in the winter, something a little bit darker on the lips can really bring out like dark under eyes. So literally put this in the center. This is NARS, uh, all yours? Yeah, Air Matte lip thingy love it honestly obsessed with it i always think having like a very light nude liquid lip or lipstick in your makeup bag is such a staple not on its own but it can just be really transformative if you've got a color that's not quite working but you want to like use it up or you kind of make a mistake there's so many things that it can fix like sometimes if i put too much gloss on and i want it to like matte down a little bit i just mix it in with the air matte lip color and it just gives you like a nice uh kind of creamy or satin finish so a little bit dark for use all over but i do really like these and would happily use them in combination with like a uh liquid lip or something like that hello reassurance hey i'm trying i need to put the lid back on the powder give me two seconds yeah. okay so that is the makeup so far very very impressed with the beauty pie products i really love the cleansers as well the plantastic one i used this morning was so nice my skin didn't feel dry at all after like i felt like i could walk around the house and not immediately need to put a serum on which was great um and i used the what's the other cleanser the hot oil one last night which is incredible it literally annihilated my makeup so as long as i get on with them in terms of not being broken out i would absolutely continue using them very 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 impressed with them today's outfit includes the pink cardigan of dreams um i decided to keep it i hope i don't regret it but yeah it's just such a nice color it makes me so happy um yeah and this is the lower way tank in the small which is kind of what i envisioned this being styled up with and then I've got the Loewe jeans on and then my New Balance trainers which I never wear but I was going through my trainers trying to pick a pair that went with this outfit and I kind of just thought these went the best it was this or Converse didn't really feel like a Converse day but yeah this is today's outfit um I'll probably change for we've got a date night tonight have I said that probably i've probably said that so we're going on a little date night tonight uh the location is going to be down by the seafront so i'm probably just going to wrap up warm so i'm thinking maybe like chunky boots and then i don't know maybe skinny jeans a giant coat that kind of vibe not really sure yet but um yeah i will definitely be changing my outfit to be honest i might still wear these jeans i might just wear something different on top so yeah thank you for getting ready with me i need to go and do a lot of admin stuff now so i'll be back with you in a little bit and then we can catch up because i have a whole load of life updates to give you coffee time catch-up time i probably should be sitting down for this i feel like i have so many life updates i right now i i'm not gonna lie i'm just gonna put it out there like <laughs> i've just been on facetime to ryan ranting about how moody i am for like 10 minutes because he asked by the way i don't just call him and like rant at him this time of year i always feel so frustrated because 
um, and I don't know if lots of other people feel this way please let me know if you do I always feel so frustrated because this is a very limbo-y time of year I freaking hate limbo I think I'm at a limbo point in life as well so it becomes extra frustrating for me uh, this kind of early point in the year like work stuff everyone's prepping for the year still but personally like a lot of my friends especially over the last month uh they're always away so for various different reasons whether it's like a, just a good time as a person as a couple with no kids to take a holiday or whether it's like fashion month i just everyone disappears so whilst i'm busy do you know what it is it's not the busy it's the nothing to look forward to and like having your brain keep moving and i find it's kind of very sporadic and actually it feels very monotonous i think that's i've just hit the nail on the head it this time of year feels so monotonous every day is the same the weather sucks in the uk so you can't really go outside you can't really do a lot so i just feel quite frustrated and i'm trying to just be as proactive as i can fill in my time with as many little things to like look forward to but anyway i have been filling my time with just booking in so many things so we are like having some friends come to stay in the spring summer which i'm so excited about and getting everything ready for that the house project is moving along nicely we got our final quote in and i just I, we're like almost at the point of like booking it in now which is so crazy just because we've been talking about it for like two years and i am just so ready for it to get started so it can be done because i just know i'm not going to enjoy the actual building process i want the, like the fun bit after and i also just want it to be a weight off my mind like yes we have ticked that off so basically we're at the point where we're about to book in we've kind of pushed it back in our minds a little bit because we were ideally thinking of it starting kind of like very 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 soon but um yeah a few things are kind of going on which have meant that we just want to push it back slightly i almost forgot like the most important thing or not the most important but the most uh like i haven't told you about this yet but this is gonna answer like a lot of not a lot of questions but this is gonna make a lot of sense as to what was going on in the last vlog but i i came off the pill at when did i come off the pill the start of February and um obviously like it takes a long long time for your body to settle but I have got I've now been through my first month of not being on the pill I was kind of expecting the worst in terms of um a lot of the side effects that I'd read about I mean when you google it it's the same 10 symptoms across every freaking single website like someone has just done one study and they've just copied and pasted it across every health women's website anywhere it really it's really bad um and i think that 10 symptoms one including a side effect being pregnancy so nine actual other symptoms that aren't like that aren't so ridiculous like that one is so ridiculous like obviously that is that should not even be listed as a side effect that's this is so stupid like you have got nine other symptoms that i can like expect i understand they need to be responsible but like it's it just feels like such poor uh research like not you have nine symptoms that aren't the very obvious you could get pregnant of, of coming off the pill only nine like that is crazy there are so many women in the world surely there are so many other things and my main frustration with this was because as a result of coming off the pill i actually i experienced pretty much every uh side effect that you would normally have going on to the pill i which i'm saying not to be like oh i'm so different but in case it helps some of you because i literally none of the side effects that they list i was actually experiencing i don't think apart from maybe headaches the reason i was googling this is because i was having symptoms that just didn't really fit the bill there were actually symptoms that you could experience going on to the pill and i thought that was so classic me to be that freaking backwards so my first thing that i experienced was like extreme dizziness and nausea i had it as i came off and i also had it as i came on my period at the end of this month which was just so so bizarre but also i felt like i was just about to collapse it was the most bizarre thing i felt like that the whole of the month it was so strange i was needing to sleep for so long and then towards the end of the month as you will have seen in last week's vlog um i i think my iron levels just like went 
and um, I was just like, I was fully sleepy. I, I never needed so much sleep and I just, my body felt like it physically couldn't carry its own weight. It was so bizarre. I've never felt exhaustion like it in my life and actually it made me feel so much better talking about it in the vlog because so many of you who have actually been iron deficient have said that is exactly how I felt after like taking the iron tablets every single day. I feel like a different person like I don't feel tired at my what was my normal bedtime like I was feeling tired so early on in the evening I I get into bed and I sleep well but I don't feel like so 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 exhausted and yeah I just feel generally a lot I have a lot more energy throughout the day I will get properly tested also I just need to disclose before people get excited because whenever I tell anyone like I'm so open about this like people will be like what have you been up to I've been like oh my god I've been coming off the pill and it's just like the wildest ride of my life um and they get really excited and it's not because I am looking to get pregnant at all if anything I want to go and get my fertility tested so I can see how long I can put it off for um because I just have things that I need to do first and I spoke about that in my other video that I mentioned Mr Hurley is coming in hello yeah. I'm having my coffee chat. Oh, that's no, sorry to interrupt. That's okay. What are you doing? Coming to join your coffee chat. Oh, are you? I was telling them about me um, coming off the pill. I hear. And how mad it's been. And how they shouldn't get excited because we're not looking to have children anytime soon. When you got my. Um, <laughs> e. Hello. Our child will probably be hairier than that. Oh. Uh. Poor little thing. Want a little brother and sister? Please, not a brother. I don't like boys. My point being, nobody get excited, uh, but also get excited because I am just really looking forward to booking in my fertility test. I need to find out. I don't know whether to speak to the company. I don't know who to speak to, but I need to find out how long I should kind of wait for my body to level out before I do this. But yeah, basically I did find out originally the reason I came off of the pill was because they can only tell you so much if you're on the pill. Like they can tell you basically one thing, but they can't tell you like a lot of other stuff. Um, Cause I suppose someone had done it. So yeah, that was why I came off the pill. I also had just been on it since I was 15. Um, so yeah, when I tell people that they're like, I'm actually surprised that your body hasn't completely broken down because that's a long time to have been like on the pill and then be coming off. But now I'm off, I realise how much my body did not like the pill that I was on. The water retention has stopped, which is wonderful. Um, love that for me. I don't know if that is a direct symptom. I don't know, but it was it was weird. It was weird and I haven't retained water for an entire month since. And I've been loving life like it's just been so nice not to be like I used to get crazy bloated and um, it's one of the reasons that I've been so reliant on skims oh and I don't have the insane mood swings that I was having I used to feel everything so so intensely like I was so sensitive to absolutely everything and now I feel things but I don't feel them like I'm like things are happening and I'm like, oh, this is stressful or oh, this is I'm feeling a bit miserable about this. When I used to feel things when I was due on, Ryan would find me like crying in the shower and I would be like inconsolable. It was a lot and it was quite scary. I can't tell you how different I feel mentally now that I'm off it and just in my soul, I do feel a lot calmer even when I'm like annoyed or sad about things like I, it doesn't hit in the same way that it was hitting. But it's only been a month. But I just thought I would like share my findings because I don't know, it might it might help someone in some way. That is something that I have done recently and uh, it's really all I wanted to talk to you about last month, but I didn't want to like, I don't know, jump the gun too much and just kind of like give live updates. I'd rather like backdate my updates and kind of be like, in hindsight, this is what's happened. I think it's a bit more helpful that way and it becomes a bit less confusing with like feedback as well between us. Because when you're like in something, sometimes uh, a lot of opinions can kind of just not actually be helpful, but like talking about it high in hindsight is very, I find much more helpful. Also, more updates. Firstly, yesterday I finally got around to carving out some time in the upcoming weeks and months to work on podcast season two, which I'm really excited about. I think I'm just gonna sit and waffle and just kind of not overthink 
things too much and I also think I've got to a point where there are certain things that I've personally worked through that I feel like I can talk about now whereas like they were really highly requested subjects last year but I was still kind of going through some things and I don't like to talk about things when they're like particularly raw because it's not always helpful to you guys and sometimes if there's like a situation in your personal life that is ongoing and you talk about stuff it can kind of really exacerbate that situation. So yeah I am really excited I feel really good about the topics that I've got penciled in and I was going to try and do like guests but I just found it was halting the start of season two so if I can get guests in great but they're not going to be my focus um purely just because everyone is so flaky and it's kind of hard to like you know really get people um on board and to like commit uh especially when it's a small podcast so I'm just going to crack on with season two and if I can get some guests in fantastic but if not I'm just I've got a couple of weeks locked out to just work on things and I'm so excited about it like I'm really looking forward to just bringing it back um and I also I took a big step yesterday sorry this is the longest chat in the world but I have a lot of life updates um this is one that I'm gonna be really vague about because I'm gonna just kind of like take you along gradually but I booked myself onto a course yesterday and when I do this course and I finish this course I <laughs> I don't know why this makes me cry <laughs> but it's obvious this obviously hits a nerve um <laughs> somewhere um Wow, why? <laughs> why am I crying? This is so stupid. Um, when I finish this course, and it's not like a crazy big thing, I'm not doing a degree or anything like that, but when I finish this course, I am actually going to be qualified in something. <laughs> and I don't know why that might, obviously I, it's something I feel deeply very self-conscious about because it really touches a nerve. Like I, this is what happened. I didn't think this would happen again today, but this is what happened yesterday whilst I was booking it. Oh my God, I have been making YouTube videos for 10 years and like never cried. In the past like couple of months, I've cried twice. What is happening? Crying when you wear this much makeup is not acceptable. I'm ruining my date night makeup, wow. So yeah, I have booked myself onto a course for something that I have wanted to do my whole life. Let's just keep dabbing. I feel like the dabbing distracts me <laughs> and it makes me not cry. I have wanted to do this for a really, really, really long time. There's like two things that I have always just kind of wanted to do since I was younger. And this is like step one. I'm gonna be bringing you along with me on this little mini journey. I don't know where it's going to take me. I'm really, really excited. I don't, yeah, I don't know really what to tell you yet. Cause I will kind of tell you about it as it happens in our like vlog during i won't be vlogging in my classes obviously because i'm a professional but anyway i i'm gonna be doing something that I, i'm just so excited to do it and just kind of have it as like an additional thing that i do so those are my life updates i have no idea how to end this segment so we're just gonna move on and here's a montage this is my date night outfit Stunning, I know, but honestly, it is so cold outside right now. I actually, I just can't, <laughs> I just can't. So I'm about to wrap up very, very warm. This kind of cold genuinely makes me understand why my audience in Canada used to have a go at me when I would do winter lookbooks back in the day, because yeah, there is no way to look good and be warm. I get it now, I get it. Unless you have and a violet scarf, in which case, it is everything. Honestly, look at me. <laughs> you know you're old when this is your date night outfit of choice. I don't know why we do this. No pressure. Oh wow. Uh, Something wrong with the ball on that last one. Yeah. This time. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
him. That is a landslide win, babe. What are you going for? It makes, it makes me too nervous. When you didn't poo? Music's too much. <laughs> I feel overwhelmed. I messed it up. No. You're having the next go. I can't do this. I can't work. Have another go. I don't work well under the nose. It's a waste of money. I don't work well under pressure. It's not meant to be an investment. <laughs> uh, I'm going to complain. She's broken. We need to caveat this with we know they're rigged. We know. You don't need to tell us. We know. We have had a lovely little date night. After what I was saying earlier about this time of year, there not being that much to look forward to, that was exactly what I needed. Um, we had so much fun bowling. I lost monumentally, as always. Um, it's never been any different, which is fine by me. Um, and then we went to the arcade for a little bit and then had a Nando's, which I forgot to vlog as always because I get so hungry that I just forget to show you my food. But I had what did I have? An imitator wrap, curry chips, and broccoli. What did you have? The chickpea Yeah, the chickpea thing. pitta. Chickpea pitta. Also, just going back to bowling, I would say, uh, you only lost depending on what you're playing for. So if you're playing for points, you lost. But if you're playing for fun, we're all winners. <laughs> true though. Honestly, yes, it's, it's so true. And I did have so much fun, so. Yeah, so yeah. you won. Thanks, I am a winner. <laughs> Thanks, babe. However, I am a bit sad that I didn't do better at bowling because I really thought at one point I had a tactic going like if I used one ball it would always go to the right and if I used the other it was always go it was always going to the left so I started using both of them on rotation and for a while it was working and I thought oh I'm on something here I'm gonna be a winner today no no, no. I did did I get a strike at one point though uh, you definitely no got I got a spare, spare. a spare I can't remember if you got a strike or not though I don't think I got, that doesn't sound like me. Um, yeah, but I got spare and I will take that. So yay me. That is gonna be it from me this evening. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Uh, I will see you, I'll, well, I'll see you guys again tomorrow because we have got some life organizing to do. But until then, love you, bye.